Straightallday.com. What I'm going to demonstrate here is just making some reverse layups and putting that backspin on the ball. So if you notice, you look at my fingers when I'm letting that ball roll off my hands. I'm curling my fingers in, which puts some backspin on the ball. It has the ball spinning backwards the opposite direction from where it's coming. So when I get that ball up on the backboard, when you do any of these reverse layups, most important thing is get that ball up on the backboard. Once it gets up on the backboard with the proper spin, even if the momentum is carrying in one direction, once it hits the backboard, that spin will send it in the opposite direction, and then it'll drop into the basket as long as you get it up at the proper angle. So it's really, it's basically physics, which I'm not going to try to explain, but I understand that getting that ball with that right backspin, once it hits the backboard, that spin goes in the opposite direction once it hits that object, and then you get it to drop in. So this drill, what I'm doing is basically starting standing out of bounds under the basket, to the side, I'm going to take one step forward, and with the outside hand, I'm going to get that backspin up over the backboard. So this is the reverse layup here I'm doing. No running, no jumping, just getting the ball up on the backboard like I talk about, getting that backspin and getting it in. Now I'm doing this with the left hand. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the right hand. Notice my fingers when I'm letting that ball out of my hand. See how I'm letting it, my fingers curl. I'm letting that ball spin, so I'm getting a lot of backspin on the ball. So when it gets up on that backboard, it's going to hit, the spin is going to go in the opposite direction, and then it's going to turn into the basket. Really how the spin works, you don't really have to understand it. You just got to get a feel for getting it up on the backboard and getting it in there. You don't have to be able to explain it. You just got to be able to make layups. So I'm doing the same thing here on the right-hand side. As I'm coming in, as I'm coming in, I'm stepping in here on the right. You see, I'm getting that ball right up on the backboard, and I just got to get some spin on that. I got to curl my fingers as much as possible because of the angle that I'm coming from. It's kind of tough to judge the angle from the angle that you're watching it. But I'm stepping from out of bounds, taking one step in, so I'm right under the basket. So this is a tough angle to make this shot. You see me missing some shots because I'm not getting it up high enough or getting the right spin on the ball. Get that spin up there. You see how high it's getting on the backboard. As it hits the backboard, it actually keeps traveling upwards for a little bit before it actually drops in. So as long as I so as long as I get it up there, if you ever watch a smaller player with those layups, that's how they get it in. Hit that thumbs up to like this drill. You got questions, leave me a comment. Work on your game.